So about a year ago, I started pounding the table because eventually the Fed is going to start easing here. That's great for gold and that's for Bitcoin. What I said is Bitcoin is growing up and will be eventually half the total market cap of gold. So that's about 350,000. So quite a ways to go from here. Uh, the Super Bowls, if central banks adopted and, uh, you know, it's part of the monetary system, uh, then you know, in the millions, but I don't like to talk about that too much. What, more than two million, more than three? Yeah, like 2.9, we've got some model, which is, you, you have to look at the assumptions. Right, well, yeah, there are always big ifs there. Where are you, as an ETF guy, with all kinds of different ETFs, everything from fixed income to, you know, who knows, staples, consumer cyclicals, etc. cetera, yeah. where do you put your personal money right now? I like longer term trends because I feel like, okay, it'll be a bumpy ride, but I like to have conviction about something that's going to happen in five or 10 years. Mm -hmm. To me, there's no doubt that Bitcoin is becoming adopted the way gold is. I just think it's, 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 it's obvious. Now, I think you have to have your own diversified portfolio and kind of having a huge overweight to Bitcoin is a personal decision, but I, I just see that rising. I'll give you another example, India. The Indian economy is the best macro story. Everyone says the stocks are overvalued. I get it, but it's doubtless. The Indian equities have done as well as U.S. equities over the last 10 years and will continue to do well.